So in order for you to leverage AI and create a chat bot using ManyChat, you're going to need to, for one, have a ManyChat account. That's the first thing. But before we even get started with the whole process, you're also going to need to make an open AI account. Then it's going to ask if I want to sign in a ChatGPT, Dolly, or an API. You're going to go to API. So the first thing you need to do is when you make your account, go here and go to manage account. The next thing you need to do is go to billing. Every time you use your chatbot, your chatbot is gonna integrate directly with OpenAI. And it's literally like, I would say 0.003 cent per message you send out. Next, you're going to go to API keys. Next, you need to create a secret key. I already have one. Now, this is important. It's only gonna allow you to make this key once. So if I hit secret key, and I add the create key after I gave it a name, you want to copy that key. Once you copy it, you want to go back to mini chat. Make sure you go to settings, go to integrations, and mine's already connected, but you're going to put your, your secret key right here in this area and it's going to connect you. Now you're finally able to communicate with chat GPT. And so you can create an AI chat bot. So now we're going to go into the actually how to make it. Next, you need to create a secret key. I already have one. Now, this is important. It's only going to allow you to make this key once. So if I hit secret key and I add the create key after I, after I gave it a name, you want to copy that key. Once you copy it, you want to go back to mini chat. Make sure you go to settings. Go to integrations and mine's already connected but you're going to put your your secret key right here in this area and it's going to connect you now you're finally able to communicate with chat gpt and so you can create an ai chat bot so now we're going to go into the actually how to make it so another place you want to go is fields and you want to create two new fields One's going to be chat GPT input. The next is going to be chat GPT output. Now, obviously, these are going to be when people put in a message versus what they get as a response. So now let's go to automation. I'm going to create this workflow from scratch so you can follow along. So I'm going to hit new workflow. For example, let's use the comment feature. And so anyone that comments a specific keyword chatbot, that'll be our keyword for this one. So the next one is going to be an action. Put clear user field. The field we're going to clear is chat GPT input. And we're also going to create one for output. Now we create Instagram. Now we want to change this to user input. So you want to go here and for it say response to custom field, make sure you change that to chat GPT input because the response they put here is going to be saved under chat GPT input. The next step, we're going to go here. We're going to go to action. Now we're going to go to chat GPT. Now this is only going to work if you have a pro account. So we're going to click here. Now you're going to put your prompt. Your prompt is what's going to be sent to OpenAI to generate a response that you're now going to send on your account back to the person who messaged you. So let's use a prompt here. Now, this part of the prompt is very, very important. If you want it to be conversational, you have to make sure you put respond to. We're going to hit this bracket right here and we're going to put chat GPT input. So this purely means whatever data or whatever that input was, we're going to include that in the prompt. That's how you make it conversational. Let's not get it confused. AI conversational bots are all about how good your prompts are. If your prompts are trash, you're going to have a bad chat bot. On the bottom, we're also going to put only reply with the booking link. Do not use any other placeholders or substitutions. So by using this, this means it's not going to use link or website or whatever else you have. It's going to have a more authentic flow. You're going to save this response to this field, chat GPT output, and then we save it. Now, once that happens, we're going to create another message and we're just going to put that for our chat GPT output. 
Now, how this works, start at the beginning. You're gonna, you're gonna comment a keyword. We're gonna clear the input and output fields. You're going to ask a question. That answer is saved as input. That input is added into the prompt, and then that prompt spits an output that we're gonna use here. What I typically do here, so we're gonna put ask anything, clear the fields, another message, back the user input, sure how can I help. Again, same process, chat GPT, input, and guess what, next steps, we loop it back here. So with loops here, another prompt is made, this is given. So this is how the conversation is gonna keep flowing, no matter what. I really hope this video helped you guys out. This is Rock, I love y'all, see you in the next one.